Hi everyone, and thank you for joining me for day five of the Holy Heroes devotional. Uh, today's devotion is inspired once again by Superman, more specifically by Zack Snyder's Justice League. While Justice League the movie may not have lived up to moviegoers' expectations, the film ought to strike a chord with Christians. Although the movie suffered from a bland villain and subpar CGI, not the least of which was covering Henry Cavill's mustache, Justice League delivered something that Man of Steel and Dawn of Justice was lacking. Hope. This hope resides in the film's resurrected savior, Superman. Director Joss Whedon, who took over on the film when Zack Snyder uh, left the project in post-production, establishes this theme right from the beginning of the movie. In the opening sequence, uh, set prior to Superman's death in Dawn of Justice, Superman pauses for a moment after a daring rescue to chat with a couple of kids. Um, one of the kids asks, is it true that your symbol stands for hope? Superman replies, yes, but it's shaped like an S. And he says, it's meant to. It winds like a river comes and goes. This image of hope coming and going sets the stage for the rest of the movie. In the wake of Superman's death, all hope seems gone, and the whole world seems darker and drearier without him. Uh, early in the movie, Martha Kent says to Lois Lane, there's so much bitterness. I think it's because he's gone. And Batman seems to agree. He, he comments to Wonder Woman, Superman was a beacon to the world. And Lois sums up the situation in a voiceover at the end of the movie when she says, our darkness was deep and seemed to swallow up all hope. When Superman died, all hope seemed to die with him. The followers of Jesus could relate. Christ's death on the cross left his followers devastated, depressed, and disillusioned. They, all of their hopes rested in a man whom they believed to be God in human flesh. But then he died. I think the, the two disciples walking on the road to Emmaus spoke for, for everyone when they said in Luke chapter 24, verse 21, We had hoped he was the one. Had hoped. Anytime you start talking about hope in the past tense, you know you're in trouble. Thankfully, Jesus conquered death and rose from the grave. And so did Superman. In Justice League, Superman dramatically returns from the dead and, as alluded to by his symbol, brings hope back with him to his fellow heroes and to the world. Despite battling uh, a dangerous otherworldly enemy, Superman's teammates see him smiling and cracking jokes. Even Superman's costume appears to be brighter than it was in the previous movies. His very presence instills his fellow Justice Leaguers with hope. And as the, the movie comes to a close, Lois Lane speaks about Superman's return, saying, hope is real, and you can see it. All you have to do is look up in the sky. The idea of a resurrected Savior who brings hope to the world ought to resonate with Bible-believing Christians. You know, the Bible says in Matthew 12, verse 21, and his name will be the hope of all the world. The resurrection of Jesus points us beyond the tragedy of the cross to the hope of the empty tomb. It tells us that, that there is hope for eternal life because Christ conquered the grave. And it tells us that good will ultimately triumph over evil, no matter what trials or temptations or trouble we endure, we can always hold on to the hope found in Jesus. As Lois Lane said, hope is real, and it's found in Jesus Christ. Would you pray with me? Lord God, we thank you for giving us hope. 
I confess that there are, are days that seem dark. And, and those days come more frequently than we would like. Days when hope seems distant and almost gone. But we praise you that no matter how dark the world seems to get, we will always have hope because of Jesus Christ. We thank you for your, your son Jesus and for the hope that he gives us. In his name, amen. Thank you again for joining me. Uh, I want to encourage you to come back again tomorrow. I'll be posting another devotional every day for the rest of April. So be sure to hit the subscribe and notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of them. In the meantime, God bless and try to be a hero today.